It's strange and cold, honestly. Connor never really understood, nor would he understand, how humans felt in the snow. Especially when Hank insisted they go out for ice cream, of all things. Connor, being an android, could tell Hank not to. But after the revolution, food for androids have been popping up more often. It's been two years since the revolution, and Connor walks next to Hank whose head is down, staring at the newly fallen snow at his feet. They've lived together all this time and helped each other live. Connor does have suspicions he must talk to Hank about, but won't ruin their walk. For now, at least. Hank, why didn't you bring Sumo? He hasn't walked today. Hank only answered, chuckling, his frame twisting up, turning, to partly face Connor, still walking. It's cold. His paws would freeze. Exactly. Connor wanted to point out, seeing as Hank Anderson, a living, breathing human being, shouldn't be out here at all. Have you gotten more information from Gavin? Moving on with the topic. Hank shook his head and sighed. Pretty sure he's too busy fucking your brother. Connor's cheeks went bright blue, his LED burning red, staring at Hank. That, that they aren't. They hate each other, even Fowler. Throwing his hands up in the air, not willing to believe this, he was soon cut off by Hank. An arm slung around Connor's shoulders. Heh. <laughs> well, then making out in the bathroom was a dead giveaway. Connor stared, scanning through his memories before he was pulled out by Hank. We're here, son. Pick something to eat and we can go. Connor looked at the ground, confused. Why? Why did Hank really bring him out here in the snow? saying they were going to get ice cream only to get Connor to order something for himself, and only himself. Even so, Connor did order for the both of them. He walked back to Hank using his free hand, holding on to Hank's. Why did you bring me here? Hank shrugged, getting up, and started leading them back, not saying a word. Connor, not being happy with that, spoke up again. Why did you bring me here, Hank? Hank kept walking, though he spoke. It's the day... It's the day Cole died. When he was a kid, I would take him here. When he did well on a test, or was just... Good. He was a father first, before anything else. His son is what kept him going. Connor. Connor, he should have known. He should have marked the date down. He must have somewhere. His stress level's high, LED burning bright. Hank leans over, kissing his forehead right on top of his LED. Don't worry about it, kid. It's fine. And anyway, I got a, hmm, tin can to take care of? Connor stopped walking, looking at Hank before laughing, bursting out, leaning in, hugging Hank. Gavin would use that insult to hurt him, but it didn't matter. Hank would never say anything to hurt him. They both enjoyed walking together as their conversation flowed easily, speaking of anything they could think of besides work and coal, even being attacked by Sumo upon coming home was worth freezing their asses off in the cold.